My name is Grace Chimizie. Okay, basically, because our cultures are very different, and in Nigeria, we kind of have like more dusty situation going on there. Uh, we use hard brooms that, that are kind of plucked by hand to sweep the house because we believe we have this meat that it actually sweeps better than any technological equipment that you want to bring to us. Yeah, I mean, the only earlier stories I would remember to like sweeping is like when I was in high school, we had like positions given to us like a plot of land where we would have to clean and sweep and then we had we would come in groups to do that and then it's just it was a means of kind of interaction and sweeping together it felt more fun to use like brooms to sweep than like definitely i think being a millennial i think that's what they call it uh Come, being a younger generation different from my parents and like being exposed to like what technologies can do and knowing that I have a lot of things to do and sweeping isn't one of the tasks I want to take up my time that would be something I'll definitely consider using okay my name is Fred G um, I'm a first year uh, grad student at Georgetown University at CCT program I technically didn't get it um, my dad has it, and um, I technically still own it, to be honest, but I just don't uh, use it as much as I used to. Um, one of the very big drawbacks of Roomba is um, it's just really difficult to clean the corners of um, furniture and stuff, and we have a lot of um, you know places just uh, the round robot cannot get into. So um, we just thought, you know what, we're probably just gonna use the, the broom <laughs> instead. That really depends on what kind of update the newer version has. I mean, I, 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 I got this one from my dad was about like a year ago, so it's not very old. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, I don't, I, I don't. I don't really think it's um, necessary for, for me to get another cleaning device mm -hmm. uh, for this purpose. So. Not necessarily, because the one of the functions that my Roomba has right now is you can set up a time, like you want to clean up the room every day um, at 9 a.m. when you're at work. Um, it does do that. I don't. I, I don't feel it's a very. Um, practical functionality that I want to add to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, my name is Tasha Troy and I am a faculty member here at the Georgetown University School of Continuing Studies. I bought it because I have two cats and between two cats and myself having long hair it's a lot of hair in the house and it just made it a real easy way to manage just uh, the hardwood floors in my house um, so that was the primary motivation and uh, i'm still using it today in fact about a month or two ago i bought new wheels to put on it and replaced a couple of parts because it's such a valuable part of my household I find that I begrudge the time needed for household chores and just household maintenance and having the Roomba makes it just that much simpler. Mm -hmm. I'm actually considering buying one of the Roomba mopping mm -hmm. units nice. because that would make a real nice compliment to my yes. Roomba. It replaces the necessity to clean the floor. Mm -hmm. um, it's not perfect, it doesn't get the corners, you know, so there's still elements that I'll have to do myself mm -hmm. but and, and there's other parts of housekeeping that the Roomba doesn't cover it doesn't dust my shelves it doesn't take out the trash it doesn't right. wash the dishes or anything mm -hmm. um, but it does take care of one piece that has to be taken care of daily mm -hmm. the only reason I would have to get rid of the Roomba is if I had a housekeeper who's doing all of the other chores right. in addition to taking care of the floor right 